I'm working my way through the API testing challenges at apichallenges.herokuapp.com. And if this is the first of these videos you're watching, you might want to watch some of the early ones that show what these are and how to track your progress. But this next challenge is an options challenge. So it's an options request on the to do's endpoint. Now the get to do's endpoint shows us all the to do's in the system. So if I just duplicate this, that's the easiest way for me to start. I'll put to do's options so that I know what I'm working with. And I'm just going to change this to be an options request. Options requests have no body. So Insomnia has removed the content type from the request. But I'm keeping the X challenger header so that I can track my progress on the challenges. And if I just send this request now, what we'll see is a set of headers. And the important one for the options request is the allow header. Because then I can see what verbs are allowed on the slash to do's endpoint. What options do I have using the slash to do's endpoint? And if I was properly testing this, rather than just working through the challenges, I was then go back and see, does the to do's endpoint respond to a get and a head? And can I post to it? When I use a different verb, do I get a error response? This is what the allow header is essentially telling me. But I should now, if I look in the GUI, have passed this challenge because I passed in the correct X challenger GUI that matches my session. If you want to work through the challenges yourself, you can find all the information you need at eviltester.com slash API challenges. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you're kept up to date with any of the videos we release showing API challenges or APIs in general or testing in general. We have a lot of content here. Subscribe to the channel and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.